Welcome back to HSPAL News. I'm Kelsey Boyshek. One of the most interesting topics being discussed in classrooms at HSPAL these days is truth and reconciliation. Students around Canada are learning about the dark chapter in Canadian history where our fellow First Nations students were unfairly moved into residential schools and mistreated. Our first report comes from Talia Morrison, who along with the HSPAL News team was invited to have brunch at Nietzsche Commons with Senator Murray Sinclair, the head of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Hi, I'm Talia Morrison. Our journey in Truth and Reconciliation began with a simple message sent to Senator Murray Sinclair for an interview request. Instead, he suggested that we meet for brunch at Nietzsche Commons to discuss our point of view. This story has special meaning to me because two of my great-grandparents have gone to residential schools. Maria Sinclair is a Canadian senator, former judge, First Nations lawyer, and the chair of the Residential Schools Truth and Reconciliation Commission. He is the first Aboriginal judge appointed to Manitoba and was recently appointed to the Canadian Senate by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Our main goal was to figure out how we, as kids, could help with truth and reconciliation. Our meeting was set for Nietzsche Commons on Main Street. Nietzsche Commons is a community-based restaurant and store owned and operated by Aboriginal peoples. After presenting Mr. Sinclair with some ceremonial tobacco, we were anxious to ask him a question about this quote. We have described for you a mountain. We have shown you the path to the top. We call upon you to do the climbing. Well, the um, quote is in the context of the work of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And what that referred to was the fact that there was a great deal uh, hidden from Canadians about the experience of indigenous people in this country. And our intention was to reveal that story, to reveal that history, and to make people aware of why things are the way they are when it comes to indigenous people. And by doing that, by making people aware of what it is that um, exists and why things exist, we are now saying it's our obligation to do something about it. Senator Sinclair's answer was exactly what we were looking for, a great starting place. The vision of all of that for us was that we want people to believe that they can have a better relationship with each other in this country. We want Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people to believe enough in each other that they will work towards having a better mutually respectful relationship. But we also tell, told people that it must also recognize, this process must also recognize that indigenous people have long been oppressed. Their histories have been denied to them, their languages and cultures have been denied to them, and therefore their identity has been taken away from them. And that initially, before we can even talk about mutual respect or have mutual respect, we have to understand the importance of assisting an Aboriginal youth to gain self-respect, to gain pride in themselves, their identity, their history, and their peoples. Our next question was our most important one. We asked, how as kids from the Louisville School Division can we contribute to truth and reconciliation? What we have said, and what I have said many times, is that it begins by being um, uh, friendly towards each other. Uh, the, 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 co uh, the context or the concept of reconciliation is about being friends. And the interesting thing is that young people, children particularly, naturally become friends with each other and naturally are friends when they play together. Uh, it's at a certain age that that separation comes to be and it's a, responsible, it's a responsibility of adults to ensure that we do not do whatever it is that we're doing to drive those children apart to interfere with that natural friendship that they have with each other. At the end of the day, Senator Sinclair posed for pictures with us and we said our goodbyes. The most valuable lesson I learned was that truth and reconciliation doesn't have to be difficult. Senator Sinclair made it very clear that for kids, the best starting place is to be friendly. I think we can all do that. I'd like to dedicate this story to my great-grandmothers. I'm Talia Morrissey, reporting from Winnipeg. Thanks, Talia. That gives us a lot to think about and is a great reminder that we all have a part in helping each other heal. 